what's up YouTube or Instagram or whichever platform this video ends up on. So I wanted to do a video that was kind of like a rant. Not like an angry rant because I'm not really an angry person. More of like, I just needed to talk about some things, get some things out there. Things that people need to stop doing on Instagram, okay? And if you're doing this on YouTube, stop it also. But mainly Instagram, just because I feel I need to talk about it. And I feel like people need to listen. So, and I'm actually like, I'm a pretty friendly person and I don't really get mad. So this isn't gonna be like a mad annoying rant to listen to. But if you wanna hear what people should stop doing on Instagram, then keep watching. Okay, so first and foremost, what people need to stop doing on Instagram, stop being fake. So there is this thing that can happen on the interweb where people are someone that they're not or they act like someone they're not or they portray themselves to be someone they're not. And that's just not cool, okay? It's not, it's not. Like, why? And I don't get it. Like, I actually am like, I don't get it. Are you actually internally, like, don't have any self-confidence so you have to pretend like you're one person and inside you're somebody else? I don't know. And if this is you, and if you feel like you're one person on the internet and one person in real life, then please, like, you know, reach out to me and be like, hey, I'm that person. And tell me why, because I don't get it. But I'm going to give you a really, like, real life example. Real life. No. But, for example, on Instagram, a lot of girls are friendly with each other. A lot of bloggers are very supportive of each other. We all leave comments on each other's photos. We like to engage. This is like a generality, but you know, you see it like, oh my God, girl, you are so perfect. Or like, you are so beautiful. Or, like, I want your closet. Like, oh my God, your hair is literally goals. So these, all these things, like you see these comments all the time. Um, and I have to say something about these comments. If you don't feel that way, don't say it. Cause that's just not true. Okay, so don't be rude, don't be a troll because those people need to get off the internet as well because they're literally like useless and just make people feel bad. So, but like if you don't actually, if you don't feel genuine, then I don't feel like you should be that way because what happens the day when you happen to run into that person in real life or meet them and if you're not that same person, it's gonna make you look like a dumbass or like, a, like an asshole. It's gonna make you look like an asshole. So this rant came from a real life situation, real life situation, um, that happened with me and one of my Instagram friends. Cause I actually have a lot of friends on Instagram and on the internet that I haven't met in person. And like, I genuinely feel like when I meet these people, I'm going to be like, yes, we've been friends forever. Like we've known each other and it's going to be awesome. But there was a girl and we were friends with each other and I've talked about this story before and I just wanted to make it into an actual video. And if she ever sees it one day, maybe she'll have had a change of like mentality and heart and she'll be a different person. Who knows? Um, but this girl, so she basically, we were friends on Instagram. This was like also back when I had a smaller following. Does that make a difference? No, but just saying. And she had Let's say I had, I think I had 2,000 followers. She had like 8,000 followers. So um, we were talking, we were friends on Instagram. We both knew the same photographer because she models. I model sometimes and do makeup. Anyways, long story short, we were following each other forever. I was supporting her. She was doing great. We would always, we would send DMs and have like conversations and talk about like collaborating to do a photo shoot because we both live in Florida and we're not too far from each other. All of these things, right? And it was like, this is cool. This is a cool chick. Like, if I met her in person, this would be awesome, right? We would be like, oh, hey, we have been friends. Let's hang out because that's not weird. That's like normal, right? So I happened to see her because I guess she was in town or like in my part of town. This was on Clearwater Beach. I happened to see her one night at this, um, it was at this club, this place on the beach. And I was like, oh, that looks like, I wanna like put her name in here, but I'm not gonna call her out cause I'm not that much of a. So anyways, so I see her and I was like, oh, is that her? Like it totally looked like her. So I was like, oh my God, how cool, right? So I walked up to her. This is story time, guys. Like just enjoy it, like let it soak in, okay? So I walked up to her and I was like, hey, blah, blah, blah. let's call her 
let's actually not give her a name. Let's just call her whatever. I was like, hey, blah, 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 right? And she was like, and she like looked at me. Uh, this is gonna be my reenactment. And she looked at me and she was like, and she was like, I'm sorry, who are you? And I was like, Ariel? Uh, I'm Ariel Lindsay on Instagram. And I was like, we've talked on Instagram like a lot for like months. And then she, and I was like, you're blah, 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 right? Because her name's blah, blah, blah. No, she has a real name, but I'm not going to say it. And I was like, you're blah, blah, right? And she's like, and then she, and then she like looked at me and she was like, at, by, at this point, I was like, oh, that's like a thousand percent her. And she looked at me and she looked me up and down. She did like the nasty, like mean girl up and down look like the, and then she was like, no. And then she turned around and then she walked away. And I was like, oh, 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 ah. I was like, what? And I was like, what? So there was all these like different like emotions I had. I was like, what a fake beep. Right? And I was like, are you kidding me? So that was when I was kind of newer on Instagram, which was like, this was, I think, when was that? I think it was actually like the end of last year or the beginning of this year or something. I hadn't been on Instagram for super long, but I think I'd been on Instagram for like at least six months and we'd been talking for most of that time. That was my first wake up call where I was like, what the fuck? I was like, are there actually like, are people this fake? Like this fake? So my thoughts on this was like, okay, guess what? My, like at that moment, I was like, I am never gonna be that person because that's like disgusting in my opinion. So at that point, um, I sent her a DM afterwards. My camera fell, I'm not actually filming with a tripod. I have it like propped up on like awkward objects. So what was I saying? Okay, so the moral of that story, at that point I decided, I was like, I'm never gonna be that person. And I was like, this is a classic example of a totally fake stuck up bitch that is one person online in in real life she's like completely the opposite and I was like wow unfortunately there are probably more of these people out there in the world which is a true thing but that's like my thing like that was like number one on this list is like Stop doing this on Instagram, guys. Like, if you don't actually want to be nice to that person, if you wouldn't actually treat them like that in person, in real life, then don't fucking do that on Instagram because it's fake. It's fake. And everybody says, like, I hate fake people. So, yeah, if, like, everybody tends to say that. A lot of people say that. You don't hear people that are like, my favorite people are the ones that are fake and that are, like, totally different in real life. So, for those of you that are claiming that you hate fake people, you better fucking be real, too. So, that's all I'm saying. Like, you know, it's just like, mm, oh, and it's just like, oh, yeah, what I was saying. So, then I DM'd her, and I was like, uh, what's up with, I was like, what was up with that? I was like, that was so, I was like, that was pretty rude. I'm just going to be straight with you. And then she was like, and she didn't, you know how you can see if it says seen on Instagram, like she's reading my messages, but she's not replying. So I was like, well, that's pretty low. And I was like, that's cool. I was like, I honestly had a lot of respect for you and I don't anymore. So that's really unfortunate. And I hope you can like realize that. And then she said something that was pretty nasty. Like, I'm so sorry. You have a pathetic life. Something, something, something. Something about having a pathetic life and I'm pathetic and then she blocked me. And I was like, all right, well, that's a human being I don't want in my life. So I wasn't sad about it. I was just like, okay, cool, let's get over it. Definitely don't want to have anything to do with her. And if she finds success, then like, whoop de fuck can do and good for her. But definitely not a toxic person I want on my inner circle or in my inner bubble, you know? So that is the like number one, stop doing that on Instagram. Don't do it on YouTube. Don't do it on social media. Don't be fake, be real, be who you are, be true to yourself. Don't fucking be someone you're not. And I can't actually like stress it enough. And I get people that message me sometimes and they're like, I think it's so cool that you're like really real. Cause like I'm very much myself, how I am. I'm a dork guys, like I'm a dork in real life. I'm not. And, I, and, I, and I'm a nice person, I think. I'm pretty friendly. I kind of might have a short temper, but it's just because I don't tolerate bullshit. But I'm actually like very friendly, I'm easygoing, and I'm pretty chill, and I like to have fun. So I like to just portray all of like my characteristics 
and I'm not perfect, like a thousand percent not perfect, and that's okay, and I don't really care, and I'm like, you know, trying to maybe want to work to get better, but it's okay to have those imperfections show up on my social media because this is like real life, guys. Hello, this is Planet Earth. All right, done ranting. That was too long. Next topic I want to say is, um, I'm sitting on the floor, sorry for like moving so awkwardly. Okay, next topic is stop face tuning the shit out of how you look. I actually just, I feel passionate about this because I'm like, if you don't feel confident posting a picture because you think that angle, maybe your stomach doesn't look so thin or your butt doesn't look so big or something, then just like don't post that picture. Don't go face tuning your waist to be like little and your butt to be big and doing all these weird things so that you look not how you actually look because that's not fair to like hum like real people. Because it's not, and not only is it like not fair, it's actually the wrong word. It's more like, it's just not what you look like. And like, you don't want to be one of those people. I've known people like this. You don't want to be one of those people where when someone finally meets you in person, they're like, oh my God, they look nothing like their photos. Like that, you don't want to be that person. You don't want to be that person. So this is how, what I have to say about that. I'm like super all for like self-confidence and being confident in yourself. But guys, I have terrible angles too. We all have terrible angles, really bad angles. I have like, I've seen pictures where I'm like, wow. Like I know I have cellulite, but I didn't know I had that much cellulite. Cool, guess what? I'm not gonna post that picture because it doesn't like bring out the best in me. It doesn't mean I'm gonna take a photo and facetune it and photoshop the fuck out of it and make my waist small and make my booty big and smooth the shit out of my skin so it looks like I have flawless skin, which I do not, and then post it and be like, hey guys, like, what's up? Uh, that's not real, like that's not me. So what do I do? I'll find my good angles, I'll take photos with those good angles, and I'll use my preset, which I love, but I'm not face tuning my face. I'm not making my hair bigger. I'm not perfecting my makeup and my photos. I'm not smoothing my skin. <sighs> so for those of you that maybe have those moments when you're scrolling through Instagram and you're like, oh my God, her waist is so small and her hips are like amazing. And how is she that perfectly dimensional that it looks actually fake? Like really don't be hard on yourself. There's such thing as great angles and there is such thing as Facetune and there is such thing as Photoshop and there is such thing as plastic surgery and there are all these things. Like, I don't know many women that are just naturally perfect, 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 perfect. Like when, you know, those really itty bitty waists you see, like it's not, like the human body isn't necessarily always built that way. So, I just wouldn't let it get to your head. I wouldn't let it hurt your confidence. And then also when you see these beauty gurus and their makeup looks so goddamn flawless that you're just like, my foundation never looks that smooth. Like there are, there are filters. There are smoothing filters that are part of editing softwares. There's a lot of, there's a lot of editing. Like watch some of these big like beauty YouTubers and how they edit their photos. Some of them are very open about, they're like, yeah, I use this filter, I smooth my makeup, and I do this to touch up my eyeliner. And like there's a whole process to making their make makeup look even more flawless. Like yeah, they're fucking talented, but like just don't let it get to your head because realize what you see on the internet, what you see on Instagram, and what you see on YouTube, like it's not always real life. So, yeah, I think that pretty much covered it. It was just like kind of a rant, right? I hope it wasn't too long. So yeah, that pretty much covered it. It's like, don't be fake, be the same fucking person in real life as you are on the internet and stop like editing the shit out of your photos so you've totally modified like what you look like, okay? Just please embrace yourself. Everybody has flaws. Everybody. All of these big beauty YouTubers that look perfect, no. No. They have fucking flaws. You just can't see them in their Instagram photos or in their YouTube videos because that's people don't want to show their flaws. 
So like just realize, don't let it get to your head. Don't let it like beat your self-confidence down and just, yeah. It's like be yourself. There is only one you and that's the best fucking thing about it is no one can be you. So just be you, don't be fake. I'm done preaching. All right, peace.